Good morning. Again, I have come back with the uh, same topic. Uh, last class, uh, I have shown you the velocity distribution. Okay, velocity distribution uh, for the flow of viscous fluid uh, between two parallel plates where the where both the plates were held fixed. Okay, they were not moving at all. The bottom plate, uh, the lower one and the upper one, both the plates were fixed. And between the plates, fluid were fluid was flowing. Okay, uh, and the fluid was uh, the flow was viscous. Okay. Means effect of viscosity was considered during the derivation of the flow. Uh, during, uh, yes. And uh, here you can see I have written this one u is equal to minus 1 by 2 mu del p del x into ty minus y square. Okay. Here what is this t? You know that uh, these are the two plates. This is one plate and this is the other. Okay. And distance, distance between the plates is t. Gap between the plates, normal distance between the plates is t. That t has been used here. And such fluid element was taken, rectangular fluid element. So this dimensis is delta x, this dimensis is delta y, or dx and dy, etc. Okay, so this was the velocity distribution. And here we are, uh, and uh, of course, uh, here we are going to discuss or we are going to calculate the value of maximum velocity divided by the average velocity means ratio of maximum velocity and average velocity so what is the maximum velocity you know that at y is equal to t by 2 at y is equal to t by 2 velocity is maximum okay you would write this way when y is equal to t by 2 u is equal to u max right and what is the value of u max u max is equal to you just put here t by 2 so what you will get if you put t by 2 here you will get t square uh, by 2 and here t square by 4 ultimately t square by 4 so minus minus 1 by 8 mu del p del x and here what here t square right so this is the maximum velocity, uh, maximum value of the velocity, and that is this much minus one by eight mu del p del x t square. Now, what is the average velocity? Okay, average velocity that is equal to what? We know that uh, the calculation should be same as the previous one. That is, uh, uh, we have already discussed flow through circular pipe, and there also we have uh, derived the ratio between uh, ratio of u max and u bar, u bar means u average, okay, so here u bar is how much, u bar this is equal to total discharge q divided by the area, okay, total discharge q, this is how much, this is equal to integration of, area is how much, area is equal to this t multiplied by the width, 1, so t multiplied by 1, that is the area, okay, and uh, what is q? Q is equal to what? Uh, you have to consider one fluid element uh, like this one. Okay, here this is dy or delta y. So dy, so what is the area? dy into 1. And velocity is how much? This much. So velocity multiplied by the area. So this u, u dy. Okay, into 1. dy into 1 is the area. So u dy 1 and it varies from uh, y varies from where to where? y varies from 0 to t. Okay, let me check. Uh, yeah, it is, uh, yeah, it is clearly visible. visible. So, this uh, will be the average velocity. Now, you just put the expression for u from here. So, it is what? Here t, here it is 0 to t u is how much? u is minus 1 by 2 mu del p del x right into ty minus y square ty minus y square this is u and then dy dy is there so what will be the result? 
here you write 1 by t this way this t then 0 to t right and uh, one more thing uh, here uh, this is constant so minus 1 by 2 mu del p del x okay you write this way okay and integration of this is what integration of this is t into y square by 2 divided uh, minus y cube by 3 and limit is here t it is 0 okay so this way you can perform the integration this way you can perform the integration uh, let me raise the left side portion here this one okay u max is this value this is required okay and now this is not required so u max this value is required this value is required because we have to find out the ratio of u max and u average this value is required so what will be the result here it is what actually it is u average this is u average so here i am writing again u average this is equal to uh, minus 1 by 2 mu t this t then del p del x del p del x is there and here what will be the result here it will be t square so t cube by 2 right here it will be t cube by 2 and there it will be t cube by 3 so what is the result here 3 minus 2 that is 1 so 6 so 12 so 12 1t is there so square so minus 1 by 12 mu del p del x into t square this is what this is u average that is average velocity okay now what is the ratio then therefore ratio of u max and u average this is equal to how much this is minus 1 by 8 mu del p del x into t square divided by this value minus 1 by 12 uh, sorry 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 minus 1 by 12 mu and here del p del x del p del x into t square so what is the result result is 12 by 8 so this is equal to 3 by 2 okay so this is the ratio of maximum velocity and average velocity for which case the case is flow between two parallel plates flow of viscous fluid between two parallel plates where the plate both the plates are held fixed okay they are not moving at all or there is no relative velocity in between the fluid and the plates and here hmm, uh, one more thing so they are in that case what was the ratio in that case means uh, flow through circular pipe in that case the ratio was 2 okay and here in this case we have found out the ratio is 3 by 2 right now uh, you know that uh, after that uh, since velocity distribution uh, velocity distribution is known okay expression for u is known so by using the expression for u we can easily find out the CR stress distribution because according to Newton's law of viscosity uh, CR stress is equal to mu du dy since u, u is known you just differentiate that expression for u with respect to y and that way you will get the expression for viscosity in the next video I will show that thing okay okay so this is the end of this video thank you thank you for watching this video have a nice day